What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve. I have baby promos to tell like it is. Today, guys, we're gonna jump into the topic that's quite often overlooked in the fitness world, and that is the importance of rest days and its impact on mental health. So let's break this thing down. The psychology of rest days revolves around the mental health and emotional benefits of taking scheduled breaks, deloads, like resting from intense training and exercise. Guys, so like rest days aren't just for your physical recovery, they play a massive role in your mental well being. So here are some good, you know, explanations of the psychological benefits of rest days. Number one, stress reduction. Guys, when you train, it can cause a significant amount of stress on the body. During your workouts, your body's stress hormone, cortisol, increases. It's the way the body adapts to the demands of exercise. But if training intensity is always consistently high without adequate recovery, this can lead to chronically elevated cortisol levels. It's going to contribute to, you know, added stress and anxiety. Rest days allow cortisol levels to return to baseline, reducing your overall stress. As number two, it's a way to prevent burnout. No, not just physical, but emotional exhaustion. It's caused by prolonged exercise and stress resulting in overtraining. So basically when you push yourself day in day out and you don't have enough rest, the risk of burnout is very high. So rest days provide a mental break from the constant pressures to perform and achieve your fitness goals. That pressure of always need to hit the next goal, chase your goals, reach your goals, that's great. But if we don't take a break from that, we will burn ourselves out. And that's very obvious when it comes to even creators. Guys, number three, enhanced moods. Physical activity, training, releases endorphins, positive endorphins. It's a natural mood enhancer. Rest days help restore a positive mindset by reducing the physiological stress placed on the body. This can lead to improved overall mood and mental well-being. Number four, improve sleep, right? Intense training, especially if it's late at nighttime, it can disrupt your sleeping patterns. Sleep is absolutely crucial and vital for recovery and mental health. Rest days can provide an opportunity for a better and more restorative sleep, right? Contributing to an overall, you know, improved cognitive function and emotional stability. Number five, mind-body connection. Rest days encourage individuals to connect with their body and listen to their physical and emotional needs. Mindfulness can promote a healthy relationship with fitness and reduce the pressures of constantly having to perform. Hey, what's good people? Struggling to keep up with your routine or you feel like you're just spinning the wheels? Well, you came to the right place. Check out the link in the description below for my customized one-time training or nutrition plans. I'm also offering online coaching with weekly check-ins and unlimited contact with myself. And look, if you don't want to dive in right away and you have some questions, book yourself a video call with myself. And at the end of the consult, I deduct off any package that you pick. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the show. So here are three signs that you could be burning out. Number one, your motivation starts to lack. You're not enthused to go to the gym. You're just starting to like, I don't want to go anymore, basically. Or, you know, you're starting to fatigue or you're not recovering on a day to day as you should. Say you're training on Monday, the next push day is on the Wednesday and you haven't recovered by then. You know, or elevated stress levels. You know, you're having mood swings, you're more irritable. Look out for those signs. Now here are some things you can do to help reduce some of that stress, right? So try things like, you know, outside of fitness, like yoga or stretching. Those kind of things help improve your flexibility and they reduce tension, right? People look at just stretching as like being mobile and flexible, but it also is a massive stress reducer. Try and doing some low intensity cardio, things to help, you know, relieve stress, to help, you know, with coping with certain stresses that you're going to walk things off, right? Walking, cycling, you know, stuff like that and active recovery. And then like try and mindfulness things, you know, try some mindfulness practices, meditation, you know, relaxation techniques, you know, just things that are going to help relieve your stress. Now, here are some three signs that indicate when it's essential to pull back from training to prioritize your mental health. Number one, persistent physical exhaustion, soreness, or injury. If every day, you know, when you normally train and you know exactly your body recovery, you know, when you listen to your body, you know your patterns and how fast it takes you to recover on a day to day basis. If it's consistent and you're always sore, or then you're getting those nagging injuries reoccurring, start listening, pull back a bit. Or your sleep's getting disrupted. You're having a hard time sleeping, 
your patterns are off, that could be a sign of overtraining. Or you start neglecting other aspects of your life. You know, your relationships are starting to suffer a bit or your work. That could be something due to excessive training. Again, these are some things you need to think about. Rest days aren't just to help your body recover. It's to help your mind recover. Guys, remember, your body is going to follow what your mind does. So we have to be sure to give our mind a break as giving our body a break. You can't just treat one one way and treat the other another way. You can't abuse your brain and not give it a break and say, oh, I'm going to keep training my body and continue and continue until you burn out. Your brain's going to obviously burn out as well. Even creators who are out there doing videos day in, day out. You have to take a break. You have to get away from the constant pressures that you put on yourself to reach your goals, whether the physical or, you know, emotional goals or business goals, whatever they are, give yourself a break. Your brain needs a break. And you guys, that's it. Guys, rest days aren't just about physical recovery. They're essential for your mental well-being too. Recognizing the signs of burnout, incorporating alternative activities, and knowing when to pull back from training are all part of your journey towards a healthier mind and body. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. For more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about on this channel for you guys. And until next time, guys, make sure you guys binge watch my videos, grab my ebook. It's a link in the description below. Until next time, guys, you guys know how it is. Iron sharpens iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.